This is the Double Dancer, and welcome to my Let's Play of No Moria. It's an older game, reminiscent of Dwarf Fortress, which I will be playing in the future. But for right now, let's play a little bit of No Moria. Let's go ahead and get a new game started. We will do advanced setup. Now, randomize the name because we're just looking for ah, the Cotton Kingdom. That's not good enough. Kingdom size. Let's go with large on that. The sea. We'll just leave right there. Uh, mountains. Let's go with a little bit flatter of a mountain range. Um, about there in the wide hills, and that should be good. Difficulty is normal, metal depth, and the metal amount will be normal. I'm just going to leave everything else alone. That gives us that. Oh, let's increase the strength over time, make it a little more fun. So, let's go ahead and generate this map. It's been a while since I have played this, so I'm probably going to do some stumbling. Just bear with me. Half the fun is relearning how to play the game. And this is going to take a while. So, we have Moria. We'll go ahead and play this. Get the, uh, see how long this let's play goes. How long I can survive. Uh, with any luck, my gnomes won't get wiped out by the uh, skeletons like they usually do. I have that problem. I need to keep everything lit in the mines. I tend to dig too deep too greedily. Can't do that. So, I'll try to remember that this time. See if I can give you guys a uh, nice long let's play. And it looks like the map is about generated. Maybe. Maybe. Could be making a liar out of me. Oh, we're settling liquids. All right, so it does take a while. It's still a lot shorter than uh, Dwarf Fortress. That setup is going to be an episode all on its own. Uh, with that one I do need to practice a little bit more on. But Memoria is a fun game. I enjoy it very much, though I've never really gotten that far into it because I tend to kill my gnomes off. So, first thing we'll do is uh, find a place to dig in and so some stockpiles, some pins, and build a couple of workbenches after we get the uh, harvesting wood and the miners mining, foragers foraging, make sure everybody's got food. So this is what we have. Uh, looks like if I come down here and dig in, we will be okay close to water, so I can put a well in there, that won't be a problem. So let's get this going. Um, but I don't want to mine ramp, I want to remove. Where's the remove? The floor, remove ramp. There's that. Let's zoom in a little bit. Gotta remember all these controls. Uh, we'll go back to mine, mine wall, get that, 
and we'll do a double entrance in is that center Quick three three that is centered get that look at that all right we'll get that started there so let's go up a level go back we're going to agriculture and get some pine bean filled I don't really want to chop my apple trees ah, I'm gonna chop one of them can't be helped cannot be helped sometimes and we're gonna four inch though Plant trees, grove. Why am I not foraging? I gotta be foraging those. And we'll just come over here and click that. Get everything else set up here. Keep them busy. Gotta keep them busy. If they're not busy, then you didn't do something right. Which I'm guilty of. So let's put the pasture right about here and we will designate the animals for our yaks. And that will be good. That will put them there. Now let's back up and do a hmm, designate area. Let's do a stockpile. Where's the stockpiles? There's the stockpiles. Let's build a stockpile right about here. And we'll say it's for wood, cloth, uh, food and drink, plants. Does that include the seeds? That includes the seeds. I believe that's everything they take. So, with that, I have, looks like a bag, a barrel, and a crate. Um, so let's go with build. Storage. Oh, I got three crates. Interesting. Okay, I'm going to build three crates. So I'm going to tell them to build them there, there, and there. Now, let's see, what else do we have? Barrows. We have two barrels. Let's put one there and there. All right. What else can we move over? I know we got the bags. We've got two bags. Let's build two bags. Uh, we'll put the two bags there. All right, let's get the little guys mining. And of course it's going to save and we'll have to hit the start again. Everybody seems to be doing pretty good right now. There we go. Let's get down on their level. Always going to be down on their level so you can see the gnomes. And we'll run this, uh, we'll run this to about 20 to 25 minutes an episode. It's not a whole lot of time, but then again, you know, don't really need to be. So let's go back into train, mine. Let's mine the wall some more. Uh, let's push that back because I'll probably have my main hall in here. Have a few rooms off of it. Probably put in the uh, trading depot and the, or I should say, the market stalls and the. Uh, ambassador quarters. And that's the word I'm looking for. So let's go ahead and bring these guys here. Open it like that. And 
this is where we're going to place our stairs. So we're going to dig some stairs down. Uh, let's see, I believe it's R to rotate them. Yeah, that is correct. Hmm, there we go. All right, so gotta find some stone. So I'm kind of hoping I can find some stone on this level. So right off of here, let's take a shoot back this way. I'll be able to utilize these corridors and everything for different things. In fact, what I can do now, no, no, don't want to do that because where is all the stone? Let's go this way. I have no fear about digging the tunnels. I will put rooms in, workshops, storage rooms, kitchens. Uh, the next level up is probably going to be their living quarters. So let's give these guys some work here. Out stone, I can't build my crude workbench to do anything. Now I'm hoping to find it before the episode's over. Without digging further down. Disable it. Drat. Well, I did dig down again, so let's open this up. Uh, let me see. Dig stairs down. I think I just may have to dig down until I find stone the easiest way. I do have to watch my depth. Uh, one more is all I'm going. What is this? This is hidden. Ah, sandstone. Okay. We did hit stone. Sandstone will work to build the crude bench. And let's go ahead. There we go. So let's go back up. Let's get a build here. Uh, workshops. Crude workbench. Any log, any stone. Build. Um, let's put one there. I do want two of them. So. down here or do I want the bedrooms down here? I think the work 
No, I want the bedrooms up there. That way it can be quick response if anything happens. So, let's build... That's mine, actually. Um... Let's do a 9x9. Nine nine. Exit there. And an exit here. This will be our wood shop. Let's do another 9x9. Nine nine. That will be our stone shlaces. So let's give them a bit of a wood pile here. Um, let's give them a. I want a five by nine. Yes. And another five by nine. And then over here, I want a 16 by 9. And that is going to be our stockpile for the dirt. So we don't get any golem spawns. So let's come up here. These are built. And let's get planks. Any planks? Uh, let me see here. I want one. Craft planks. Craft two. There we go. Twenty. Okay. So I got 20 planks being made, that should be a good deal. Just as soon as everybody wakes up. Uh, so we have yak milk. Let's go down to here. This needs to be a stock room. Designate area, stockpile. And I am seriously rusty on this game. That, like I said, makes it fun. So I only want logs and planks in here. All right. So that is set. Rooms. Where's my build menu? Here's build workshop. I do need. See, I can't do the saw blade. I can do that one. Let's build the carpenter shop. And we'll stick it right there. All right, I think that is probably enough for those guys. Don't want to overwork them. Um, I do need some more of this wood cut. So let's go back into agriculture, fell trees. Let's just take those out. Those. I know I chopped an apple tree, but that's quite all right. I'll end up building an orchard later. All right, I do have. Oh, I got idle dwarves. I don't want idols. 
since that is cleared, come in here. I do the train replace floor. We want to replace with dirt clumps. So that one replaced. Those replaced. Those replaced. Got to get rid of that. All right. That's looking pretty good. some of this cleared out. I'll put in some farms, get them growing wheat. Uh, wheat, cotton, strawberries. Get filled with each. Now we'll get some food coming in. Might be able to get the other loaded in. All right, this one needs to be designated for soil. And clay. So let's designate area stockpile. It's a sixteen by nine. Um, yep, just do the soil. We're good. Now we should have our guys picking it up and putting it down. That will keep the golem spawns away. We won't let them do that. That's a lot of work for them. And we'll call this episode here. In our next episode, we will work on reorganizing what these guys do. Um, here's my population, and there's my professions. And they're all pretty much set the same. I mean, miners, I really... I mean, the woodcutter, seriously, mining is top priority. This all needs to be redone. So we will work on that next episode. And maybe make a couple of custom ones, provided they're available. No bones are available for it, but yeah. We'll see. May have to wait until we get our immigrants in. But... Until then, this is the Devil Dancer, and I will see everybody later.